This is Restoration Bible Church and Ministries. We are a people of excellence living purposefully. And now, here is God's servant, Rev. Tunde Balanta, as he brings you God's Word. We trust that you will be blessed as you listen. Hallelujah. It's a communion service, and um, I'd like us to turn to Exodus chapter 12. We'll read a few verses there. Um, Exodus 12, we'll read verses 1 mm, to 4, and then we read verses uh, 12 and 13. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. The first month of the year to you. The beginning of months. It's a way to begin a new year. It's a way to, 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 to begin a new month. And he's saying to them, it should be the first month of the year to you. And which, which month are we in 2023? First month of the year. Which Sunday are we in 2023? First Sunday of the year. So it's a good time to come to the Lord's table. Speak ye, verse 3, on to all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. And if the house will be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of our souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. Let's skip to verse 7. And they shall take the, of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and on living bread and bitter herbs, and they shall, they shall eat it. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite, verse 12 now, all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment, I am the Lord. The blood shall be to you for a token from the houses where you are. When I see the blood, I will do what? Pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt. First Corinthians chapter ten and verse number sixteen. First Corinthians ten verse number sixteen. It says The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? We're talking about the cup and the bread. Of blessing. For the children of Israel, um, when God told them to take a lamb, they had a basic understanding because they understood that this kind of substitution had happened in their history before. If you look at Genesis 22, just write it down from verse 11 to 13. God told Abraham to go and sacrifice his son Isaac. And when Abraham was going to sacrifice the boy, there was a ram caught in a ticket. So they knew that the survival of their nation was based on the fact that there was a substitute for Isaac. Hallelujah. And so... The cup of blessing gives the believer access to the substitution of Christ and Passover. The cup of blessing gives the believer access to the substitution of Christ and the Passover. You see, the Bible says that Jesus is a lamb slain from the foundation of the world. I'm happy that I'm serving a God that knew, oh, one day mankind will fail and he had to do something. He said, from the foundation of the world, God knew a day will come that man will fail. So in the mind of God, Jesus was already sacrificed. So when God told them to take that animal, in the mind of God, this had happened from the foundation of the world. So they understood that had it not been that there was a ram instead of Isaac, their nation will not be there. You know, friends, when we take the Passover, 
In Egypt, where we read earlier today, he gave them the, he gave them the animal to kill, the lamb to kill. They ate the body of it, of that animal. Psalm 105, 37 says he brought them out with silver and gold. There was no sickness among them. I'm here to announce to a child of God this morning that the sacrifice of Jesus, he was your substitute. And because Jesus was my substitute, he is also my Passover. Whatever 2023 is demanding from people, it will not be demanded from you. Whatever curse, whatever wickedness, whatever people need to pay for, somebody has gone in the stead of you. Somebody has entered. Jesus has entered in the stead of you. Why is the blood precious? When John was baptizing and Jesus came, John said, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. God never committed any sin, and God didn't need an animal substitute. But what was he saying? God is going to bring a substitute for all eternity. A substitute that once it is there, there's nothing higher. I want to say this morning that the highest sacrifice on the highest altar by the highest being with the highest name has been made in your behalf from the foundation of the earth and for all eternity. The value of the blood of Jesus is that the one that shed that blood is alive forevermore. I want to announce to you there's no blood greater. There's no substitution greater. The greatest substitution has been made for you. There's nothing higher than it. And because it has been made for you, as you partake in the communion today, you come into fellowship with the body of Christ. You come into fellowship with the blood of Jesus. Everything in the blood of Jesus begins to happen to you. Every good thing in the blood of Jesus begins to happen to you. If they were planning to criminalize you, if somebody was planning to judge you, and they even said you failed in some areas in your life, you can lift up your hand this morning and say, by the blood of Jesus, I've been justified. Jesus has paid the price. When Satan is showing you the failures of your life, you can lift your hands this morning and say, by the blood of Jesus, I've been justified. The blood has justified me. Just as if it never happened. The blood has justified me. The blood has purged my conscience from dead works. I'm justified by the blood. Everything in the divine economy of the blood of Jesus is mine in 2023. I have the blood of the overcomer. There's something in my DNA. There's something in my DNA. There's something in my DNA. I cannot be defeated. I cannot go down because I'm a God carrier. Oh, la 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 la. I'm a God carrier on my inside. I want to announce to you they may surely gather, not by me, but whoever gathers against you is going to fall for your sake because you have the blood of the overcomer. You cannot fail because your heavenly father cannot fail i want to announce to a child of god that 2023 is waiting for you to manifest it's a year of the manifestation of the sons of god you are going to move in power you are going to move in glory because the blood has made a way for you this year you will excel your enterprise will succeed because it's in your dna the blood has canceled every cause in your office you will be rising and rising is there a witness in the house of the lord if you believe it give him a shout. Give him a shout in the house of God. Sit down for a bit. Sit down for a bit. My sister, stand up. Lift your hand. It's not over until you win. Did you hear me? I said it's not over until you win. Did you hear me? Kneel down, kneel down, kneel down. In the name of Jesus. It's all right there. In the name of Jesus. I Christo la rada satabaya baraka sa sataia jebruta la brasa prata godos ezamaritos ke baratos i karenderia in the name of Jesus. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. I said 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 it's your miracle. My brother, let me tell you something now. 
if animal substitutes you, they say, kill goat, say, this is your substitute. After a while, they'll say, you have to renew. So you'll kill every year. Sometimes every six months. Sometimes every three months. But when the person that gave you blood does not die, you don't need to renew. Our high priest, our substitute, is God himself. You don't need to renew. I don't care what this year, what they said is coming in this year. All I can tell you, you will walk through the valley of a shadow of death. You will fear no evil because God is with you. Is there a believer in the house of God? There shall be a lifting up in this house. There shall be a celebration in this house. I said there shall be a lifting up in this house. There shall be a celebration in this house. I said there shall be a lifting up in this house. I said there shall be a celebration in this house. I said there shall be a lifting up in this house. I said there shall be a celebration in this house. You believe it, give him a shout. Of hallelujah. We are told that if you if they do a bone marrow transfer for you and they take blood from somebody who is healthy, who is a good donor that matches you. Hmm? Maybe you have leukemia or some kind of disease. We are told that. That clean blood will totally drive out that disease out of your body. They won't even see it again. In fact, we are told that you start acting like the person that you got blood from. When you come to the table of the Lord, and you take that cup, you take that bread, supernaturally, you are leaving this atmosphere, and you are going to the throne of God, and you are partaking of the blood of Christ, Everything in the divine economy of that blood is on your inside. There are certain tables you eat, even your enemies will start respecting you. If you get an invitation to the White House in America to have lunch on Wednesday night with the President of America, I can tell you by eating at that table, presidents will start calling you. Everybody you have applied for something for, they will give you even if you are not qualified. I said, by this table you are elevated. When Mephibosheth sat at um, the table of King David, even though he was crippled, he brought him to another level. I said, this table will bring you to significance. This table will bring you to prominence. Everywhere people have fought against you because you are eating from the table of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the high priest that cannot die. Everywhere people have ganged up against you because you are eating at this table this morning. I said, there's a lifting for you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The communion of the cup and the bread will bring healing and deliverance to your body. As somebody in the room this morning, you have a kind of sharp pain on one side of your chest like this. As I'm speaking, Tim, just go. Your heart, they miss. They miss sometimes. They say if it's not beating right, the thing will go. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you this morning? You're in the house, that's your case. Just begin to lift your hand and thank God. That thing will disappear. Your heart will not miss again. Sometimes if it's not beating right. Eh? Hmm. God loves you. Now, let me tell you something about the word of knowledge. Some people don't know understand how this thing works. When God gives a word of knowledge, it means that God has, everyone has taken photo of your problem. And everyone has told the pastor that we've taken that photo. Your own is to shoot that thing down. And when the gift of faith is in that room, don't be dignified. If you're having any problem with your chest, with your heart, maybe you are online or you are here, just raise your hand and thank God this minute. Raise that hand and thank God. There's no, don't, no, because it, it's a gift. If I don't say it at that point, I can't help you. So just take, lift your hand and take it and, and thank God. This is a New Year gift for you. Your heart is not beating right. Something with your chest. Just wave your hand. Yeah, just wave your hand and take it. It's not like a preacher is making positive confession. No, no. That's not how the word of knowledge works. God, God takes your photo from heaven, drops it in that man's heart. He speaks it. If you connect with it, that moment your healing begins or is manifested totally. That's the way it works. Do you understand it now? If God says I should lay hands on you, that means I'm carrying something that minute to help you. Five minutes later, I may not have it. We are not juju men. It's as the spirit wills. You need to understand that. 
Did you get that one? All right. All right, let's move. What was I talking about, Pastor Joel? Did you remember what I was talking about? Pastor Chris Udama, do you remember what I was talking about? Pastor Chris, do you remember what I was talking about? I know now, I'm just testing you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Psalm 105, let's look at it. Healing and deliverance, Psalm 105, verse 37. He said what? He brought them out with what? Put it up for us. With silver and with gold. And there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Imagine old mamas, old babas who are using walking stick. Eh? The moment they ate the communion, strength came. No one was feeble among them. In fact, the Bible says they were instantly healed. They didn't have to do anything. They just had to be. Many people, they had to apply the blood for it to work for them. They had to eat that bread for it to work for them. Or that flesh of that animal, rather, in the, in the first uh, Passover. And Jesus gave us the bread in, in, in his own Passover. I want to say today, a lamb was enough for a house. Your household, because you are partaking of this communion table, you can judge every sickness that is trying to come into your house. You can judge every sickness that is trying to come on your children. You can judge everything that the devil is throwing at you this morning. Don't just eat bread. It's what it represents. There are chairs and there are chairs. There are houses and there are houses. You see some houses, nobody's inside, but people are standing there with gone. Have you not passed there some of those places? He said, who is this? He said, nobody. Why are they guarding it? It's because of the person that owns it. Nothing must happen there. And if you live on those streets, you are secured. Because there's a house nobody is living in, but the person is important enough for them to guard it by day and night. Are you understanding what I'm saying? What this represents is what is important. Well, let me give you another easier illustration. The chair you are sitting on probably costs 15,000 naira or 20K. Somebody may get up and say, I want to buy this chair for 2 million. Abby? Why is he buying it for 2 million? Because maybe that chair, you say your former prime minister used to sit on it. The president of one country used to sit on it. The person that this represents is what gives it the value. Everywhere you apply the blood, in your office, in your home, do you know that your president's car, even if it's not inside and is passing, let one overactive policeman stop the car? You know, you know those cars, they are not like, they will put flag, everything. The man is not inside. They're just driving it for driving sake. You don't just go and say, eh, stop. Show me your particular. <laughs> you, uh, you, your work has finished. You've lost your job. Because you ought to know that that emblem is carrying refers to somebody big. These things refer to God himself. So it's not as we just came to drink wine in church. Also, you will speak to things over your children, over your... Let me tell you something. I don't want to do a prophetic meeting this morning. I'm actually trying to avoid it by all means. She used to drag. There are some things in your life that Satan said it will not move. You will take that communion bread and say, by the life of the person who gave me his life, you are moving. Hmm. Lord, help our faith this morning. Amen. Father, help our faith this morning. Amen. If it represents God's life, amen? amen, and you have it in your hand, every enemy must bow. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
the closed door shall be open. Amen. The closed door shall be open. Amen. You will walk into it Amen. in 2023. Amen. You will not believe how you entered. But because the blood has gone ahead of you, sins of omission and commission, they are cancelled. They amount to zero. Things that have happened to you that you could not explain. And you say, Lord, I don't really deserve this after all. He said, by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, I will give you a restoration. Yeah. I want you to receive that. If that fits into your situation, just receive it. Take a minute to just take that in. Because, you see, the blood can, it can reorganize your future. They've been there for 430 years. But the blood reorganized their future. I say it will reorganize your future in Jesus' name. Yeah. Some of you people, you think, oh, it's getting too late for this blessing. It's getting too late for this miracle child. It's getting too late for this marriage. It's getting too late for this job. It's getting too late for me to build a house. It's getting too late. The Lord says there will be acceleration in 2023 because he's the God of the open door for you. Every tongue that has risen against you in judgment I will shut them up in 2023. The accusations will fall to the ground in 2023. Amen. All right, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Glory to God. May prasa Christolorobo sataya. Ha, me Christolorobo satabaya. De 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 boruyandarabaka satatatatatatata. Mm-hmm. The blood of Jesus has opened the door to the glory of God, which is the presence, the goodness, and the power of God. The blood of Jesus has opened the door to the glory of God, which is the presence, the goodness, and the power of God. Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But we thank God that when the blood was applied, the glory came in. The curtain of the Holy of Holies was turned top to bot- from top to bottom, and the presence of God left that place because the blood of Messiah was shed. In Exodus 33, verse 18 and 19, Moses asked the Lord, show me your glory. He said, I will make all my goodness to pass before you. I want to say to a child of God, the goodness of God is coming upon your family because the blood has been applied. I said the goodness of God is coming upon your family because the blood has been applied. The blood of Jesus is your mercy seat today. And as you apply the blood, the glory of God, the goodness of God, the favor of God will come upon you and yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Romans 3.25, the Bible says, Whom God has set forth to be a propitiation or mercy seat, some translations say, through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed to the forbearance of God. In the Old Testament, the only piece of furniture in the, in the Holy of Holies was the Ark of the Covenant. Inside the Ark of the Covenant, you had the Ten Commandments, which they could not keep. You have Aaron's rod that budded when, the, when there was a, a protest again about who was... Uh, to lead, then you, 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 you have manna, when they protested about food, everything in the ark was a testimony to the failure of man. Some things in your life may be telling you, you, you are not good enough, you've not made it, but thank God that there was a cover or a lead called the, the mercy seat where two cherubims were carved or, or on top of that cover or lead, the blood of an animal was put once a year and when that blood was applied, the presence of God came and Israel 
Israel celebrated, I believe they celebrated for one week, just rejoicing that blood has been applied. Once a year, once the blood was applied and the glory of God came, no army could defeat them. Their crops would do well. Their children would do well. They would stay healthy. Thank God the blood that was applied on the mercy seat of God in heaven for you has been eternally applied, not just for 2023, but for all the years of your life from eternity to eternity. You are not going to fail. You are going to succeed because Jesus is your mercy seat. I declare it over you today that the blood will work for you. Doors closed against your business, against your your project those doors will open because the the, the the blood brings in the presence of god he brings in the glory of god he brings in the goodness of god that is your portion today in the name of jesus is the portion of your children in the name of jesus because everywhere the blood was applied no one was sick in that house no one was weak in that house their businesses did not fail in that house so i declare over this commission that the blood has been applied the blood has been applied the blood has been applied we are going from strength to strength as those that come to zion is there a witness in the house of god you believe that give me a resounding amen, amen. thank you lord many of you will find god using you to heal the sick one of the things god will do for us is that one of the things he said is that the anointing will come on the body of Christ in 2023 like never before. All of those who will step out in faith and represent Jesus on purpose in their office, you will see miracles. You will see miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Exodus 3, 20 and 21. The blood of Jesus is the open door for the God of acceleration and compensation. The blood of Jesus is the open door for the God of acceleration and compensation. Exodus 3, 20 and 21. If you are there, say amen. And I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders, which I do in the midst thereof. And after that, he will let you go. And I will give these people favor. Somebody say favor. In the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. Go to Amos chapter 9, verse 13. Yes, indeed. Message translation. Yes, indeed. It won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast, your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. <laughs> I just saw a sister. She just gave battle. Then she said, then she was telling her husband that, ah, I didn't know when this one entered again. Just now. It's well with you. So, Things will happen fast on the heels of the other. Just be sure you want it. Amen? You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and the hills. Second Kings 7, 1 and 2. Then Elisha said, Second Kings 7, 1 and 2, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord tomorrow about this time. Shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gates of Samaria? Hallelujah to Jesus. I said the blood of Jesus is the open door for the God of acceleration and compensation. If you will bear in mind that Israel had been slaves for 430 years, there were generations that didn't know anything more than slavery. You know, when you've been going through something for such a long time you can get used to it you know you can get used to something that is bad so they got used to, even when Moses came they said ah can we really leave this place but the moment they partook a foretaste of what we're having here and, and partook of Christ prophetically something came upon them they didn't have before favor came to the degree 
that they could go to their bosses in the office and say, Madam, borrow me your, is it 14 karat gold or 16 karat gold? I want to go and worship God with it. Borrow me your cow. I mean, they were borrowing things. And the people say, okay, go, 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 go. Just go, 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 go. He's the God of compensation. Some of you have gone through things in your life and you think that God has forgotten and you just have to manage like that. Maybe people have hurt you, people have disappointed you, but there's a God of compensation. I, I believe that for many of you sitting here, 2023 will be open door for the God of compensation to come in. They are to apply that blood. You know, we go spot people like that, they broke bread every day, every single day. And they stayed healthy and strong. Hello, church. As we partake of the elements, favor will come that you didn't have before. Compensation will come that you didn't have before. Israel had been under siege in Samaria by the Syrians. And the prophet of God said, by this time tomorrow, a measure of fine flour will be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gates of Samaria. There will always be people that tell you, na lie, then they. Leave those na lie people though. They are not going anywhere. Me, I'm not, I'm not with Nalai people. You may not know how my God is going to do it, but I choose to believe God more than my experience. The thing that's been troubling you for years, the God of acceleration, the God of the open door, he can change that story in a moment of time. What do you think happened with the woman with the issue of blood? Twelve years she has been bleeding. She had just one contact with the Lord Jesus Christ. She was not sitting in front. She was somewhere at the back. She crawled to the front and something happened to her because she made a connection of faith. I choose to make a connection of faith at the lost table this morning. I I choose to make a connection of faith at the Lord's table this morning. I choose to believe that as I partake of the element, the power of God can travel far. The power of God can travel into my family. The power of God can travel into my finances. The power of God can travel into my destiny. I declare today that compensation is not behind me. It's in front of me. The Lord will compensate me. The Lord will compensate my family. The Lord will do great things. Is that amen in the house of the Lord today. Let it be to you according to your faith. When the prophet gave that word, only four lepers believed it. They were even in the bush. He said, let us cuckoo go. You see, when a word of God, God told us in this church is the God of the open door. When the word of God is released, it's already anointed. All you need to do is act on it. Act like it is true. The devil tells you it's not working. Tell the devil it's working. You have not just seen it yet. Tell the devil it's working. You have just not seen it yet. I choose to believe God. I choose to believe that your business will go forward in 2023. I choose to believe your children will go forward in 2023. I choose to believe that everything against your family, they will fall in 2023. I choose to believe the word of God. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. What belongs to you belongs to God. The devil the devil will not have your children. The devil will not have your marriage. The devil will not have your home. I choose to believe the word of the Lord. I say I choose to believe the word of the Lord. Your destiny will be unlocked by the power and the blood. When they partook of the Passover, their past left them. They went into their future. They left slavery. They went into their future. You are going into your future. I say you are going into your future. Your destiny helper will find you. In 2023, your destiny helper will find you. In 2023, your destiny helper will find you. Cornelius sat in his house and Peter came to meet him in his house because God said it was time. When God says it is time, the destiny helper will find you. And it is your season. It is your season. Ruth was a Moabite. She didn't belong there. But as she waited and she was serving her mother-in-law, ah, it was Boaz that looked for her. She did not look for Boaz. I want to say to you, they will look for you. A phone call of joy is coming your way. A higher chair in your office. A higher chair in your 
office. The Lord will perfect what concerns us. 2023 is a year of the lifting. It's a year of the open door. It's a year of acceleration. It's a year of compensation. It is well with you. It is well with your children. It is well with you. It is well with your family. The blood is crying out. The blood on the mercy seat is calling your name. He's calling the name. Oh. Hey! Hallelujah! Somebody shouts in this place. Somebody shouts in this place. Mordecai, the night he was supposed to be killed, compensation kicked in. The king could not sleep. On your matter, your king will not sleep. On your matter, your boss will not sleep. On your matter, your boss will not sleep. On your matter, your boss will not sleep. I cancel every assignment of hell. 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 I cancel. Hey! Hey! Every assignment of hell. I cancel every assignment of hell. I cancel every assignment of hell. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 of the well of salvation if you know God has done it you can rejoice when you rejoice I say something to you when you begin to rejoice and praise the Lord even though they put you in prison and they locked Paul and Silas in prison but they could not close their mouth I want to say the God of the open door will send an earthquake as you rejoice this morning the God of the open door will make sure that the wall of Jericho falls down why don't you lift your voice and praise him for the areas of victory that you need Give him praise for the areas of victory.
If you know he has done it, give him a shout of joy. Give him a shout of joy. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then did the heathen say, the Lord has done great things among them. Whereof we are glad. Give him a shout of joy. In the presence of the Lord, singing hallelujah, amen, amen. There is joy, joy, joy in the presence of the Lord, singing hallelujah, amen. Everybody dance, let us dance and celebrate, dance and celebrate, singing praises to the Lord. Let us dance and celebrate, dance and celebrate, singing praises. There is joy. There is joy, joy, joy in the presence of the Lord. Sing it, hallelujah, amen. There is joy, joy, joy in the presence of the Lord. Sing it, hallelujah, Everybody dance, let us dance and celebrate. Dance and celebrate. Dance with joy. your body and you broke it you said this is my body broken for you like the first Passover a lamb was enough for the house you are the lamb for the whole world and therefore Lord as we partake of these elements this morning every organ not functioning well in our body we command you to walk well in the name of Jesus hearts and kidneys and liver and lungs creative miracles in your heart, creative miracles in your womb, in your reproductive system, in the name of the Lord Jesus. As you partake of these elements, I call your miracle to come forth in the name of Jesus. In the, by the same token, you took the cup. You said, this is the New Testament or the new covenant in my blood. Father, we thank you for the power and the blood of Jesus. We thank you we can partake of everything in the divine economy of the blood of Jesus. We partake of life, forgiveness of sin, cleansing. We don't owe the devil anything. There's no penalty to pay because the blood of Jesus has counseled all those things against us. Daddy, we are grateful this morning because by the blood of our substitute, we go into 2023. There is nothing to pay because you paid in full. We will not pay with our life through accidents. We will not pay with our life through kidnapping. We will not pay into our life through terror. We will not pay any ransom because you have paid ransom with your life for us. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I sprinkle the blood over every household, over every family, over everybody under this commission. Maybe you are here or you are not here. In all the hundreds of churches we have, I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Every family, you are excluded. Immunity through the blood of Christ. The things that kill them prematurely will not kill you. You cannot kill God, so you cannot kill us because God's blood has answered you, has answered every question over Kaduna City. You showed me angels landing in this city. Lord, I thank you by the power of the blood and our confession. I say, Lord, let those angels move where they need to move. Cause the counsel of the wicked to fail. Cause the counsel of the wicked to fail. We sprinkle the blood of Jesus over Nigeria, over our city. We speak peace by the blood. We speak peace by the blood. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for listening to today's message. Do join us same time next week. Follow us on our social media handles, Facebook and Instagram at Restoration Ministries International, Twitter and Mixilar at RBCM Online, and our website is www.rbcmonline.org. You can also be part of our live power park services every Wednesday by 5.30 p.m. and on Sunday by 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. respectively at Restoration International Conference Center, RICC, Romanew Extension, Kaduna South. God bless you.